home because I don't want them to be that that be the last place they saw me dying in like my own bedroom. Like I want that place to be somewhere where I was like alive and like stuff all about me. So if I was in like a hospital or hospice with everyone around me, like I would be okay with that. die in a hospital or a nursing home. Saying we'd like to die at home is not a plan. A plan involves answering straightforward questions about the end you want. Where do you want to be when you're no longer independent? What do you want in terms of medical intervention? And who's going to make sure your plan is followed? You will need advocates. <laughs> your chance of getting the end you want. Don't assume the natural choice is your spouse or child. You want someone who has the time and proximity to do this job well, and you want someone who can work with people under the pressure of an ever-changing situation. You'll need to assess your personality and financial situation to determine whether an elder care community or staying at home is your best choice. In either case, do not settle. you'll want to hear that whatever you're worried about is going to be fine. When you believe it's okay to let go, you will. So this is a topic that normally inspires fear and denial. What I've learned is if we put some time into planning our end of life, we have the best chance of maintaining our quality of life. Mm -hmm.